Ah, here we go. This is the blue room. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Um, Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. This is a different room. Uh, this is useful for speed running. Um, second. Okay, so now we're gonna see if I did this fast enough or not. Uh, there's a speed run um, option. It's an achievement. Uh, got a special blue room. So we'll see if I got it fast enough. Probably not, and maybe um, we'll let find out. <sighs> it would be nice if my last episode was me speedrunning the uh, end of the game. He had defeated the machine, unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? Don't As care. Sunlight streamed into the chamber. He realized none of this mattered to him, for it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do. Or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. Mm -hmm. That was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. What happens if I step through it backwards? Oh, yeah, Stanley just just felt a cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way. Right now, the things were meant to happen, and Stanley was happy. Did I get the achievement? Mm, I don't think I got. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the I guess to try it again, see if it works. Okay, now we see if I did this fast enough. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Achievement unlocked? Maybe? Nope. Well, I gotta find that blue room again. Here we go. Yeah, I can open 426. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. What? I was expecting a little bit more than this. Um, console bark. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna deal with the consoles, uh, just a second. Well, um, actually, I think besides the, uh, console endings, 
I don't actually think there's anything left to uh, to show you. Um, I seem to recall episode three. I got a phone call from Deadly. Well, perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. So, and remember that I missed part of an ending. So, part of the confusion ending. So, I think I'm gonna go and do that. And I think that'll be the last thing I do. So I'll be back when I get to that part. Okay, now if I recall correctly, all these doors open. So I can choose any of these, but I think I'm gonna pick this one. Wait, actually, hang on. I'm gonna save the game. So that way I can come back to this room and check the other ones. Uh, I did check them before off camera, but I wanted to show them to you, the viewers. So, see, most of these places, uh, this just turns into a maze that doesn't really get you anywhere. Uh, unfortunately. Also, physics is kind of broken here, uh, as you'll notice. Uh, which, you know, some people might find it a little interesting to see the craziness that goes on. Where's the room again? So. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you, there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? What I find so as you can see, all of the, uh, all the rooms kind of just sort of merge into a single... Okay, let's give it a shot. Uh, well, anyways, you can probably tell that that was exactly how it worked. Uh, one second. Okay, I'm gonna quick get to two other endings, and once I get one of them set up, I will um, bring you back. Uh, there's one for unplugging. Oh, right. I'm still in the weird loopy confusion ending. Okay. I'm going to do that. I've already completed that one. I'm sure that you missed. Uh, I'm going to show you... An ending where the um, where he gets a, where the uh, narrator gets a psychotic breakdown. Um, I missed that when what the this is a much longer passageway than I recall it being. Anyways, I'm going to head to the telephone, I'm going to unplug it, I'm going to come back, and then I'm going to get to one of the endings for you. So, uh, we'll see you there. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real world decision making, or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person, but if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back, back and crash. Excellent. Make 
making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Maybe if I wasn't looking for a specific ending. But no, we're not going to do that. We're going to go for a specific ending. But I want to... Well, maybe the main character is not the actual main character, but a different main character. It seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Now, what I know is if I stay in the employee lounge, he goes insane. So. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. <sighs> what are long to take? Exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he. Oh, wait. I already had this one. Oops. Sorry about that. I already had that ending. All of his co workers were gone. Um, what could it mean? So I did a little bit of research, and the escape pod ending that I have is. I something derped up in my uh, something was missing, so I'm going to quick get through that again. Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to walk all the way back. Um, I don't think I can go anywhere else now except for the escape pod. Which I'm okay with that because that's what I'm going for. Um, the escape pod ending. Um, it's kind of boring. It just has me walk into an escape pod. So you don't need to see. You don't really need to see the video footage until I get there. I'll uh, I'll be back. Uh, on second thought, um. I can't get back to my office. The door is locked. I, I guess it's considered already completed. Um, hmm.